man, you are one pathetic loser. <laughs> no offense. <laughs> no, none taken. That is right, none taken. I am your host and the movie moron himself, Easton Moore. Do you see what happens, Larry, when you fuck a stranger in the ass? I feel like it's appropriate for this movie, if uh, Ew, you think I'm about it for a second. Um, and, yeah, this is the, the movie moron podcast. Are you trying to think about it? Yeah. Process. Yeah. It's like just the title? No, the that quote with this the movie that we're reviewing today. So what happens when you fuck a stranger in the ass? I don't get it. I don't either. Just when you fuck with a stranger, like this is what happens. Oh. He doesn't actually fuck him in the ass. Oh, see, I was okay, saying okay. it literally. <laughs> me too. Have you guys not seen The Big Lebowski? Come on. I mean. You oh. made me watch it. I don't remember that line, though. Oh, oh. I remember there was a rug. <laughs> that is a very, very <laughs> important part of the movie. Doesn't make any sense of why it is, but it is a very important part of the movie. Um, and the one over there, uh, who is our practical uh, co-host himself, Trevor Landreth. Two. You don't have what they call the social skill. My name is... Oh. <laughs> um, and then uh, my lovely wife and the all-time guest, Tristan. Brussels, what's taters? Huh? <laughs> what's taters? Oh, I thought that's what it was. <laughs> We've been watching. Uh, we watched two out of three of the Lord of the Rings extended editions this past week, and so we figured we had to. All the snaps. We could throw one in there. Oh God, this is awful for audio <laughs> listeners. I am so sorry. <laughs> you love uh, it. Nope. Um. Okay, uh, there's not a whole lot to, to beat around the bush, although I do have some stuff to say at, at the top of the episode before we get into the bullet train. Um, one, please rate and review and subscribe. That really helps us out. Uh, I don't say it very often because I hate begging, but please do it. It really helps us out. Two, um, we are going on a vacation, my wife and I, um, but that does not mean you have to slash get to stop listening to our movie <laughs> opinions. Uh, because we are going to take one mic <laughs> and uh, Tristan and I will do some episodes, just us two, uh, as we're on vacation. Uh, I think there are two movies coming out. I think one of them is even on like Hulu or something. So nothing crazy, but we don't want to stop doing a uh, movie podcast. We love doing it. And uh, we know some of you guys really like listening to our opinions before you go and watch a movie and afterwards. So we decided to uh, go ahead and just take, take just one mic in our computer. I don't know if we'll have video or not. That's kind of, that'll be like a last minute decision. Um, if we do, it'll be awful, but, uh, cause it'll just be off of Tristan's front camera from an iMac MacBook from 2015. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but the audio should still be fine. Cause we'll have, uh, one of our mics and, uh, we'll just pass a mic back and forth. Am I getting fired? No, just two weeks. We're on vacation. You get a vacation. Oh, we're on vacation podcast. and you get a vacation. Oh, yeah, okay. you don't want we're, a vacation. We're we're not trying uh, Zoom stuff. We okay. we've tried it too many times, and it has never worked out well. So What's vacation? <laughs> that's true. You don't get you don't get those. That's sad. Um, okay, so those are two things I wanted to say at the top of the episode, just so everyone knew what was kind of going on. So in next week, it's just Tristan and I in the middle of nowhere, not in the middle of nowhere. We're going to Maine, so it'd be really cool. Maine, going way outside the uh, the Kansas sphere. Go get you some lobster. Um, Trist That's Tristan right. definitely will. Mm -hmm. Um, everyone's been telling me about how good the seafood is, and I'm like, great. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, um, not applicable to me. Yeah, I don't know why we keep going to places that have good seafood, but we do because they're pretty. Yes, that's true. Very true. Um, okay, but on to today's episode. We are doing Bullet Train. It is Toot -toot! the uh, <laughs> I don't know, probably the biggest blockbuster in a while. Um, Maverick. Oh, that, that's been a couple months. Thomas yeah. the Tank Engine is a train. Oh my, oh my gosh! That, that's how long that <laughs> this is bullet train. That makes sense. Okay, sorry. For the, those of you ha who haven't watched this movie, that will make no sense. Spo but, spoilers without context. But oh yeah, one hundred percent. Um, I can't believe that just <laughs> dawned on me. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. It was pretty pivotal part of the. Oh man, I'm about but, to cry. That uh, was rough. Weird time to cry but um yeah <laughs> don't cry don't cry don't cry don't cry don't cry we need to put that on a pad and just like mm -hmm. you hit it you just have it ready <laughs> <laughs> i i would always hit the wrong one guaranteed that's why you label them okay fair <laughs> enough um okay so bullet train uh this is a movie with brad pitt um Woo! i probably should have had it pulled up um uh, cause, cause it's all a list. 
They're all big names, or at least semi big. Or as Tristan's Letterbox review says, Brad Boy. <laughs> How is this not the first one on there? That's wild. Okay. Uh, yeah, you got Brad Pitt. You got Anna Taylor Johnson. Um, you have Brian Henry, uh, Joey King, uh, Zazie Boats, Bad Bunny. <laughs> that was a. Uh, yeah. 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 The Wolf. Mm. Mm. Um, anyways, a lot of a lot of big guys there, and then the uh, director was David Leach, Leach, Lech, Lech, Leach, whatever. Uh, <laughs> who did Fast and Furious, Woo! Hobbs and Shaw? He did uh, Deadpool two and Atomic Blonde, which actually one hundred percent makes sense now that I'm seeing <laughs> all those. Uh, but this is just a one hundred percent blockbuster action packed movie um, that's taking place in Japan. Uh, if you can't tell from the title of the movie, on a bullet train, based off a book. Yeah, and uh, it's Brad Pitt is definitely the focus of the film. Um, and yeah, there's your uh, there's your synopsis. Brief nudity, very brief. Oh, oh, a butt, right? No, someone's having sex really early. Oh, that's like the first scene. Yeah, it's really really soon to when they're like. And there was a kid close to us. Yeah, they're they're having a the, he's assassinating someone and one of the people is full on doggy style been over the bed having at it. I don't remember this at all. You don't? <laughs> I don't. It was really fast. If you blinked, you'd have missed it. Well, not blink. Oh, it's but, from a window. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah, you're looking in a window. No, you're literally just really seeing fast. tits flying and doggy. So yeah. Um. So what are your uh, just general thoughts? Going straight into it. This was a lot of fun. I thought you were going to be a lot more cynical, but no, I mean, I don't think, I mean, I think it's a fine movie, but like I had a lot of fun with it. I real, I it felt like Brad Pitt was like all in on this character. I thought he was having a good time. I thought Tangerine and Lemon were having a good time. The only one I did, my biggest, I mean, my biggest problem with this, which we can get more into in spoilers. It's a very, is I think the plot's pretty thin um, just in terms of like how they all are on this train. Definitely. But other than that, I mean, no, I had a good time with it. I like uh, the music was meh, but I really dug. There's Japanese versions of "Staying Alive" and "Bunny Tyler's I Need a Hero," and both mm-hmm. those moments, I was like, "Yes, give me more of this." But I feel like if I had had more of it, then we'd gotten kitschy too quickly. That's but, fair. No, I had a great time with it. Yeah. Ethan's on his phone. I'll go. No, I, yeah, that's usually You're how it works. You're supposed to introduce it? me, <laughs> oh. Tristan. What are your general you, thoughts? Though. Thank you. Um, you mean I'm supposed to be a host? Yep. Um, I I liked it. Okay, it was a little too gruesome for me. Yeah, there's a lot of stabbing a, and a lot, lot of blood. Yeah, a lot in some very awful places, i.e., skulls. Oh yeah. And oh. Necks. There's especially toward Ooh, the end. There's some, throw up. Yeah, yeah there's the some ending was ones. like too much of that. Yeah. But I thought it was fun too. I agree. I yeah. love Brad Pitt. He can rock a bucket hat and glasses. <laughs> he can He's, rock a bucket hat. This very much reminded me of like Ocean's Eleven, Brad Pitt. Yeah. I've never really? seen that movie. We, we, we watched it together. Yeah, we all watched it together. Yeah. I've seen that movie. <laughs> 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 it's the heist movie with uh, George Clooney. Yeah. They're in a uh, a casino for a most most. Of it. I'm sure, if, like we watch a couple scenes, you'd be like, "I think I remember this." Yeah, but, yeah, because I hadn't seen it, or like I had seen it, but like I like I was probably like 14 I've seen or Ocean's something. Eight. Yeah, <laughs> I think I was hey, uh, eight. Ball. Dang it, hey, you beat ball. me to it. <laughs> um, uh, I think I had seen it when I was like 14 or 15 on TV once, and so I didn't really remember it much. Mm. And I know everybody loves Wait, it. Did we watch it before we watched Ocean's Eight? I mean, probably or like after. shortly before. Probably. Okay. I'm saying it was probably anyway. that track. Yeah, it was probably around that time period <laughs> because I was like, I don't really remember that, and Trevor loves it. I think. I, right? Yeah, I really, I really like it. Yeah. yeah. Um. Yeah. Any other thoughts? Tristan? Yeah. Um. Other thoughts. Well, let's see. Um. Never mind. That's spoiler. Nope. Okay. Well. Uh. I. I mean, yeah. I think this was a lot of fun, but I do feel like it was a lot. It's very, pretty long. Ve- very early. It is long. I, the length, yeah, was a, maybe a bit of a stretch, but not much. I it was more like it was more toward the end for me. Yeah, uh, 
for me, the very beginning is really clustered, and there's a there's so much going on at the beginning that it's just is it's overloaded. There's they're they're jumping around from place to place, time period to time period, person to person, and it's just way too much early. And then you get about an hour in, and then it's like okay, now we're just doing the story here, and like then it gets a little bit more fun. But there's like it's trying to do way too much at the beginning, like yeah. and that was my biggest problem. And then once we like when we were doing the action on the train and that's those stories were progressing, I was having a lot like more fun. But mm-hmm. then like there was just like a clusterfuck of s- scenes. Like it's right. Yeah. yeah. And it was a lot. It was like. Well, and you, you, I think you go in expecting Brad Pitt to be a little bit more focused in that to be a little more streamlined. But then, yeah, you switch that. you switch to I mean, like. But then, like, he'll walk by somebody, and then the camera will be, like, on them. Yeah. And then yeah. somebody else walks by, and then it's on them. And you're like, whoa, whoa, this is how I many people are on this train? Yeah. <laughs> and then you knew there was going to be a lot just yeah. from the trailer and stuff. But yeah. the, I think they just went way too much too fast mm-hmm. instead of kind of sprinkling it in. And I maybe they just had to for the story part of it because there were a lot of that stuff tied into, like, why, like, kind of the thinness of the plot. But why yeah. he, like stays and all that kind of stuff without spoiling too much like some of that backstory is like why he can't quote unquote escape or whatever right so like yeah. i get it but at the same time it it was way too much to start off and then it just becomes an action flick for 45 minutes like just straight yeah action yeah. action which is fine and i don't i actually didn't even think the action was fantastic but i thought it was fun it's frequent and it's exciting when it happens and so yeah. i think it's it's keeping you engaged i just thought least. the choreography for the most part was a little rough i'd agree with that um and the camera the some of the choices they made with like the not shakiness but the way it moves i wasn't totally yeah. on board with the best stuff they had was fist to fist i think they had some really good hand to hand combat stuff specifically the one that was in the in the trailer um if you've seen the trailer mm-hmm. uh, i think that was the best part of the movie and it's maybe an hour and 15 minutes in uh, but like it doesn't like you don't get bored with the action and you don't think it's awful it's just like it's just not great and like this is this is just supposed to be an action movie so i think yeah. they should have made the made that a, just a little more smooth uh and there were there were glimpses of it but overall tristan's been cocking something up there was there was a lot that happened in the first hour. And it's funny that you say that because I remember I was thinking, this is a lot. I wonder how long we've been in here. How much, like, what else can they do? It's just been like, go, 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 go. Yeah. I checked my phone and it was like exactly an hour. And then it kind of changed a little bit, like you were saying. I did kind of the same thing, but toward the end, when I checked, it was like an hour 40. Mm. Yeah. 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 I Like I said, I didn't feel like it really... I didn't feel as though it was like ever dragged Mm -hmm. or that um, I was getting bored where I just wanted it to be over. Maybe like maybe the last three minutes Mm, were a stretch. Sure. Yeah. Because they're just trying to do some comedic touches and it was like, uh, uh, okay, we've. (laughs) We get it. Yeah. We understand. (laughs) Yeah. But like overall, like, yeah, maybe you could have shaved 15 minutes, but I don't think it would have made the movie better it's really when the when the train finally stops that's when i'm like that's also where the action wasn't the (laughs) best yeah like which state like it's supposed to be the 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 climax yeah (laughs) Yeah. the climax fight is kind of underwhelming which is a little sad yeah uh which i hope isn't super spoiled it doesn't doesn't, no i don't think that's spoiled but like it's a little sad when your climax is kind of not the best part of your your action sequence Mm -hmm. and i think they really tried with how much backstory they're throwing into it but it just and honestly, I think the main reason why um, is the main villain. Oh, the yeah. The actor that played that, uh-huh. wrong choice. 100%. He I can't agree. play that yeah, role. No. He doesn't look the role. Well, when I saw it, him, I was like, what? Yes. <laughs> it, it, I, we don't want to spoil spoil who it is, but when you finally see who the main villain is, it kind of waits until the last 20 minutes to show you his face. You were going to think, why in the world did I, you pick him? I didn't. Th- I didn't think that. Really? Really? Do you know him from other stuff? Nope. Oh, maybe that's why. I have some previous knowledge of his, some of his other work. I, I didn't look it up, but I remember seeing him in things and thinking, I, why did they go with him? And he just doesn't look like the character that they had been building up. Building yeah. up, yeah. They literally called him like a 6'4", 6'6", brute Russian powerhouse. 
And when you see him, because you get some flashbacks, yeah, you see he, him as a young man, yeah. and he looks that. He yeah. looks like this crazy monster of a man. And then you see him, he looks like a bitch. Yeah, I mean, basically. <laughs> and the long hair did not fit him well. I know mm-hmm. it's a wig, but it did not, like, doesn't doesn't fit at yeah. all. So that, like, and I think maybe that might have been the real reason of why it, it, the last the climax didn't didn't fit. Mm-hmm. I think they were like just trying to go someone that was like uh, North Asian, whatever, like Russian, trickles of like that, like right that ethnicity. And I think he is, but mm-hmm. it just didn't. Yeah, I think they they could have found just a nobody. Yeah, who is uh, Russian, Ukra- whatever, yeah. and looked the part. And I think it would have been way more badass. Mm-hmm. And it wasn't because you even got. Fucking badass samurai dude in this. Yeah, and like I can't. I I, I wish I knew his name. Well, while, while you're pulling that up, yeah. I remember where I saw him. He's Zod from Man of Steel. That's right. Yeah, yeah. he's he plays the White Wolf in this. Well, I guess we um, ruined who that who he is, but huh? That's okay. We ruined who the big bad. Oh, is. that's okay. Well, it's just the actor. Yeah, yeah. But, that's uh, what I meant. Yeah. Um. And, which I think is fine in Man of Steel because I think he looks great in that because he kind of looks like an alien. <laughs> but in this one, <laughs> just because he's a Russian homeboy. Maybe he is Russian, though. I wonder. Although with a name like Shannon, that doesn't sound totally Russian. Is Shannon a Russian name, do you think? I did not like the girl. I didn't either. In the pink. But I... I wondered if I didn't like her because she was acting so well no, or if I didn't no. like her because... I knew you were going to say that. I oh. knew someone was going to say, you probably just don't like her because you don't like the character. That means she's doing the good job. No. I agree with Tristan. I don't like... Yeah. I think it was too... Uh, no, I, I don't like her. I was... I yeah. don't think it was a well-written enough character. And I feel like she's got a lot of plot armor so we can get a payoff later. Yeah. Yeah. Um, she... Also played the spoiled little brat. In a tie. Okay. I thought that was weird that she was wearing. Well, that's a Japanese weird. thing. Don't like yeah. female. Yeah. Women wear ties in Japan. Yeah. Tie yeah. with the vest. Yeah. Um, Still. His name is Hiroki Sonata. I probably said it wrong, but I'm sorry. And yeah, he plays in um, like the Wolverine, Mortal Kombat, The Last Samurai is the movie. I know him from the best. Mm. Um yeah, stuff like that. Nice. Um, but he plays a really good... Like samurai character. Yeah, he's yeah. really good in The Last Samurai, which I just love that movie, so maybe that's why <laughs> I think about it, Nice. I really liked... Okay, it's a train, right? So it's not that wide. I, I think they did a good job of making it feel bigger than it is. I'd agree with that, yeah. Well, it's also supposed it. to be really long. Yeah. No, I'm, I, I get that, and they... Use that to their advantage. Yeah, but the the fights are length instead of yeah instead of a, a big area. Yeah, kind of and thing. I think they with the camera angles. I really liked the camera angles actually. And it felt throughout the whole thing. It felt familiar by the end of it because we revisit the same cars quite mm-hmm. a bit, and yeah. so like you know, oh, this is the kids' car because it's right got all the the cat toy stuff or whatever, and then <laughs> there this is the club car because it's got the bar in it. And mm-hmm. So uh, yeah, and this is. The engine room that has nobody driving the yeah. train. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I liked that. Yeah. Cool. There was something else I liked, but I don't remember. Was it the thing you were going to say earlier, but then you're like, oh, that's a spoil. No, but that's in the back of my head. Right. You should I love the uh, Chatting Tatum. Uh, I was curious if you were going to bring that up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I won't say like what he is in the movie or anything, but uh, I think... That was a fun bit. There's a couple good bits, and now I'm I'm trying to remember all of them that I really liked. Is okay. I'm not gonna say. So I, I, so I won't spoil what the bits are, yeah. but this movie does have a, a decent amount of good bits. Mm-hmm. It's this is supposed to be a blockbuster, so yeah. it's supposed to be funny action. Yeah, and it and it does that. You are going to have a fun time for the most part. Yes. Um, caveat of if you're okay with a lot of blood and gore. Yeah. Um, and it's not like excessive blood and gore. It's oh, just it's it, yes. If you're nope. looking for a lot of psychological tidbits and like self help things, then you'll <laughs> yeah. enjoy this. You'll movie. get that in there. Yeah. Um, but it's not gore like th- you're, you're not getting like somebody just covered in blood and stuff. It's like There's you not... just see like you like for example, you will see a sword go through somebody's face. Yeah. And like that's there's the kind of graphic. There's not a lot of blood, yeah. but there's right. a lot where there should be bl- a lot of blood. So that's just what I'm trying to say. It's, it's like stabbing. 
Yeah, it's like it's very graphic. It's called stabbing. Is that what you said? I said there's a lot of stabbing. Oh yes. <laughs> Which and is also called and stabbing. Knives and all of that. Oh, you'd be think you'd think we're watching Knives Out. I'm just know. saying this isn't uh, Ninja Assassin, okay? <laughs> Which is also a fun, stupid movie, but Ooh. but this is what I categorize this uh, categorize this yeah. as. It's a fun, funny slash action movie, and it's exactly what it should be. Uh, I think it was marketed a little bit above what it is. It was yeah. marketed. I feel like it was marketed kind of highbrow. Uh, I don't know about highbrow, but it definitely like it had a little bit more real depth. And, yeah, like, yeah, that's a better to way to it. say it. And now it's it's pretty shallow. I mean, I know yeah. Brad Pitt's supposed to have depth as a as a character, and his, he does. I mean, yeah, and there are characters that have some depth depth, but as a story, as a whole, it's it's I pretty really... turn your brain off, Fast and Furious kind of stuff. Like that's what I would categorize this movie. As not a Fast and Furious style. Listen, everyone, it's not up to a Fast and Furious par, okay? <laughs> I mean, it's like, not up there. I mean, like, the last few. Well, like they it's are. Just fun action. Movie. The bullet train is fast, mm-hmm. and some of these people are furious. I don't even. Okay. Dang it, I forgot. Last thought. No, I forgot. Okay. <laughs> told you to write it down. <laughs> um, no, I remember that one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, recommendations? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. I think you should go see it. Uh, I don't know. I don't recommend mom to see it. There you go. Because mom, of the gore. mom recommendation. No. <laughs> <laughs> Negatory. Good buddy. Yeah. No moms. Go see this. It's just so much of that. Of stuff. That stuff. Of the knives and the stabs and the faces. Yeah. There are a lot of knives to the face. Um. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, like I said, if you just want something fun to watch for an evening this is this is totally worth that um just don't expect too much and if if you're just wanting a fun evening go to the movie theater and just watch something fun that's exactly what this is um Mm -hmm. and if you want to wait until this comes out on uh not hbo max because that's dissipating but uh anywhere else uh streaming service when that comes out or wait for it to come out on like red box that's totally fine hbo max if you guys haven't heard apparently they haven't had a big I've heard. Okay. Yeah. They had a big meeting and big like reveal that they're pretty much overhauling all of HBO Max and what they have on there and everything. And they're going from it's all cuz they're owned by Warner Brothers. Mm-hmm. And Warner Brothers is doing a whole overhaul because they suck n- donkey nuts and uh um they're taking a bunch of movies on the bunch of movies off. They're canceling a bunch of TV shows. I they're, I heard it was I heard it was more they were stopping more original productions, but keeping yeah. keeping more of the movie thing. But no, so they'll still I have 13 mm-hmm. going on 30? I don't know. I heard they were taking off a lot of the movies <sighs> that weren't getting a lot of views yeah. to just save money. That's right. And like the whole reason why you have so many people that love your site is because or your streaming service is because you have so many niche yeah. movies. And so, sh- sure, like it, those movies specifically aren't getting a lot of views, but overall, they're... Like people are signed up to watch those sporadically all yeah. over the place, yeah. and if you just get rid of seventy percent of those, everyone's just gonna cancel because, well, there's no like, there's no yeah, there's no reason for it. Yeah, like that's a big reason. Like we stopped getting HBO Max because we uh, downgraded our internet and stuff, and they took it away from us, and we bought it back because we liked all the nuanced movies we could get we could get all the a24 films we could get HBO Max. all the classics yeah. we could get the new um, harley quinn season three just came all out the DS, uh dc stuff um which i mean i honestly i didn't watch too much but i do watch the harley quinn yeah. uh, stuff and like if i, I ever wanted to watch the batman i know it's on there yeah. and stuff like that and they the any movie that warner brothers has produced that has won an oscar or for best picture they have on hbo max yeah they have a whole entire oscar yeah oscar mm-hmm. list and stuff so i mean like they just had all the niche movies and like when I when I wanted to watch a good movie, I'd go to HBO Max. Yeah. But that's getting uh yeah, it's it's really getting uh and they may not even have Studio Ghibli anymore cuz they <gasps> they released uh what their like most used franchises were and movies and all that kind of stuff and studios and Studio Ghibli wasn't on there surprisingly. Man, that's why physical media needs to stick around. That's right? what a, a, that was the big Twitter takeaway yeah. of all the people that were like, "See, you guys told me that physical media was stupid, but also those people spend so much more than mm. what." Like, yeah, that's fair. Well, at least like, like vo- for, voodoo is yeah. is yeah, that's probably the I mean, 
Yeah, but yeah. I'm saying like if you um, HBO Max for like one year is 150 bucks or whatever, mm-hmm. and that's 10 movies. Yeah. So like, that's I, fair. I watch way more than 10 movies <laughs> on, on HBO Max a yeah. year, and if I had to buy a brand new movie, and I mean maybe it's 15 or 20 mm-hmm. if you get them on a deal or whatever, but I'm still watching more than that. Yeah. Each year, so now I I get you get to watch it forever. But for the most part, I'm just trying to watch it to just like, to watch it. Yeah, yeah, just to see it and to experience that movie. Mm-hmm. I don't need to experience it once a year. Yeah, because I don't have the time for that. Right. I can't watch seven thousand three hundred forty three movies every single year. Yeah. I have to. You know, I have some movies I watch regularly, and those I will buy physicals of yeah. or uh, voodoo. Meaning, like I have a, it's mine. You can't yeah. take it away from me. Um, but like for all those, uh, that's why I, I like streaming service for like, mm-hmm. I can just get the movie and, and like, I don't need to watch it again. I've already watched it. Right. So, and my, then I go and buy the movies that I, that I want to rewatch regularly. So. Yeah. My problem with it is with Netflix anyway, is that Netflix, when they do originals, they don't make, they don't release physical copies. Yes. And then it eventually, some of them make it taken off. Like they, they Netflix has made originals that are no longer on there anymore. Now the majority of them have been bad, but <laughs> Uh, there have been, so, at least as far as I'm aware of, there have been some good ones that they've taken off and haven't put back yeah, on. Like they, uh, I guess they released the Irishman and uh, Marriage Story on physical. At one oh, good. Point. Yeah. And people were like, and people said it was stupid to buy these. And it's like, <laughs> oh, because they it, did. They were taking the Irishman off, weren't they? I don't think so. Oh, okay. But I think if Netflix goes down, yeah, like, yeah, where are those things gonna go? Yeah. Um, and I mean, those copies will be worth I, some. I imagine that if that happens, there will be another streaming service that will buy those from them. Yeah, I and think. I also assume they'll just allow it to be digitally bought. Yeah, that's like, fair. Because you because it doesn't cost you anything to just put it on Vudu and just make seventy five percent of the profit off of it yeah, as for sure. Netflix. Unless ne- like I guess if they're not a company anymore, they can't make profits. But yeah, sorry, that Tristan's was a that was a get, big diversion. <laughs> yeah, Tristan's <laughs> trying to get comfy. That's right. You guys are talking too long. Uh, that's all we do on podcasts. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think you're doing on a Not Friday talking. night on National Beer Day? Woo. International. International Beer Day. I'm an international, international harvester. International planetary, planetary, inter, uh, intergalactic, not international. Okay. Anyways, <laughs> uh, so those are our recommendations and a short little talk about the HBO Max stuff. If you didn't know, uh, so keep an eye on that. So if, sad. Uh, if... Maybe you shouldn't <laughs> um, subscribe to it anymore because it's ex- it's not it's the most expensive one too, so that's really? wild. Oh yeah, it's fifteen dollars a month for ad free. Oh yeah. Um, and like we have the added version for yeah. ten bucks. Yeah. Which I think is a good option. I think that's really good for for Hulu. Hulu does it, and I think it's good for I you think to it's have. Dumb. Like, oh. I don't like ads. Oh well, yeah, but you can sp- spend more money. You don't have them. And then when that comes on, that's like, oh, I'm going to go get myself a nice refreshing beverage. No, it's like, dang it. <laughs> there are some times where it really breaks up the mood. But, that's okay, we are done talking about all of that. Uh, and we are going to take a short little ad to... Um, Speaking of ads. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but you can skip uh, these. That's true. I don't think our sponsors want us to Sorry, tell... Sorry, we don't recommend it. <laughs> that. Um, however, yeah, we're going to cut it to our uh, sponsors. And we'll be right back for the spoiler part of the review. Sponsor of today's episode is Newsly. For the first time ever, the entire web becomes listenable all in one place. Newsly is an all-in-one audio super app for iOS and Android. It picks up the most trending articles on the web and topics you choose at any given moment and reads them to you in a nice voice. You can browse articles from topics you choose and start playing, so you can stop scrolling and start listening. You can follow any topics uh, like sports, tech, business, science, Bitcoin, or even the Kardashians. It will find you the latest articles and read them to you out loud. And they have podcasts as well, exploring trending podcasts from over 80 countries. Our podcast, The Movie Moron, is there too. I started using it as my default podcast app lately, and they even have digital radio. Uh, Download and use Newsly for free now at www.newsly.me or from the link in the description and use promo code T-H-E-M-M that I will also put in the description and receive a one month free premium subscription service. So download the Newsly app now. All right, we're back. We're back. 
Oh. <laughs> Tristan. <laughs> learning what Brandon did and just does it better. That's why she's the all-time guest. <sighs> Sorry, Brandon. I didn't mean to throw some shade. We love you, Brandon. Please don't. We love you, Brandon. Kill me. And take over my podcast. Please don't. Um I'm sorry. That, <laughs> I just ruined it. <laughs> I've thrown Good. off my entire rhythm now. I like Good. I don't know what to uh, do. Every time I've laughed really hard today, I've cried. <laughs> okay. Every time. I need you to get it together, please. I was trying to talk to somebody today, it was just tears. <laughs> Tristan, you have a good day. I'm having such a good day. I can say <laughs> it's so so nice outside. It's, no, it was terrible outside. It's been terrible all week. No, yeah, it it, it it's awful outside. I'm so burnt. Uh, okay. Oh, from camp. Yeah, got it. I'm like, will you just standing outside all day? <laughs> I mean, basically. You know what? I feel so stupid. Why? Because we didn't let our most featured guest ever recommend what he says about. The bullet train. What do you mean? <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, of course. So uh, this is a little late, but uh, handsome Squidward, what do you recommend? Uh, the bullet train. The truth will be revealed. Oh, okay. Oh, mysterious. I guess he doesn't want us to know yet. Oh, okay. He wants you to go watch it. Oh, that's right. And he says the truth will be revealed. Uh, he wants you to figure out for yourself. Okay, you can cover up Demi's face with handsome. Squidward. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> that bit will now forever be in the movie Moron as our fourth guest when we don't have one. Fantastic. Am uh, I allowed to burp into the microphone? I don't know. <coughs> oh, God. I guess we've transitioned to a new form of podcast where it's burp and fart humor. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so, spoilers. We can talk about anything now. Um, so if you haven't watched the movie, just know, be warned, that we will spoil things like everyone dying. And oh, yeah, Sandra Bullock's <laughs> dumb face. <laughs> she did not need to be in this movie. I, I Yeah, it surprised her me. Her haircut was awful. Wig, whatever it was, it was horrible. Did, Second, they just, did they just decide that, I'm sorry to cut you off, but uh, they were like, oh, the Lost City was cool and people liked yeah. it. Let's just put the same people yep. in it even if they don't actually mean anything. Yep. And number she, two. Number two. She was. Uh, she. Okay. She was supposed to be this like even keel monotone person, whatever. Uh-huh. Right. She gets like mad at him or whatever for doing or saying something. Right. Yeah. You literally can't tell that she's mad because her face doesn't move anymore. <laughs> you really dislike uh, the I'm beginning to I'm beginning to not like her at all. I don't want to see her in anything someone anymore. Doesn't like, I'm over it. Someone doesn't like putting baby foreskin I in don't. cheekbones. <laughs> I don't like putting so much baby foreskin in your okay. in your so face that you can't Tristan. move. Well, <laughs> you can put some of the foreskin there. Not <laughs> the not twenty babies, okay? I'm sure it's more than twenty babies. Not one hundred babies. I go. found out about something called vampire facials the other day. Where they take your blood Is this and for then they uh, different No, or? it's okay. no no no. It, it, <laughs> they take your they take your blood and then they inject it into your face oh. and it's supposed to like revitalize your skin cells because they recognize that it's you. That's disgusting. It's better than baby foreskin. Can't well, we yeah, just do what we did in the old days? And just get and old on, and die. <laughs> what's yeah. on the Simpsons and just get a clip and just pull your skin back and clip it in the back. Oh, gross. You're right. <laughs> I haven't seen that show. I haven't seen that episode, but I've only I've seen that meme. Oh, okay. It's actually yeah. the movie, I think. Oh, I think. really? Yeah. 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 It's the the Simpsons movie, which mm-hmm. recommend. Fantastic. Even if you don't yeah, like the Simpsons, show. Yeah. yeah. Even if you don't watch the Simpsons, it's it's a standalone. Except not Trent. Yeah. Well, speaking of Sandra Bullock, um, <laughs> is Ryan Reynolds Carter? Yes. Okay. Because yeah. he's only yeah. on screen for like a second. Yeah. yeah. And I looked. I spent like too long of a time trying to look up to see if he was in this movie. <laughs> Carter <laughs> isn't. Carter isn't credited. That's funny. And so I was like. Somebody needs to inside. So I googled it. I was like, "Is Ryan Reynolds Carter in Bullet Why Train?" Didn't you just text Nobody us? had anything. Yeah, you well, should because this was like it. Tuesday night. Oh, you yeah, guys understand? Oh. Yeah, and I didn't want to text you and be like, "Hey, when you see this character 
and you see the surprise actor. Yeah. Yeah. Can you check to see if it's Ryan Reynolds for me? Yeah. <laughs> there were definitely a few times where like the actor got revealed, and you're like, "What?" Yeah, which yeah. I thought was cool. Channing Tatum was yeah, Channing was Tatum, uh, the main villain, and then mm-hmm. uh, Ryan Reynolds. Yeah, those three were definitely like, Whoa, "What?" Yes. Yeah. 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 Um. Yeah. Well, spoiler stuff. I think the brother twin stuff was really. Was yeah, really I think strong. they. I really good. liked Tangerine and Lemon. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And the it fruit. almost felt like the they were brothers. more of a focus than Brad Pitt. Not so quite, too. but like. I liked all three of them. Yeah. I think it was a good trio. I think it was. Mm-hmm. I think. Uh, I'm glad. Can't stand the girl. I'm glad Tangerine Dad is the bod, one that died. Whatever his name and not is. Lemon. Booty, yeah. booty by, by boy. Booty by. But bad boy. Bad bunny. Bad bunny. Bad bunny. Boom. <laughs> See? You got there. I did not like her for one second. The woman in this movie. Garbage. The woman. You didn't like the Hornet either? No. You heard it here, folks. Folks, Tristan is anti-women in movies. Man. Get them out of movies. <laughs> <That's> All <laughs> they do is ruin movies. No, no. just this Tristan's one. words, not mine. It's only she in does Bullet not Train. want women in movies. <laughs> Bring it back to the twenties. Get the women out of here. Oh my goodness. Get them out of here. Stop. Unless they're cooking, right? Easton Moore, too far. You said it, not too me. Too far. I want to be cooking. Can I be a woman? Yeah. Oh, nowadays, it's 2022. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. Sorry for getting political. I guess. Honestly, um, that's the only thing I wanted to come in here and talk about was to see if Carter was right. Real. So now I like I don't know what else to say. About oh, it. now Trevor's like I could actually I, go. Seriously, the past like 72 hours, I've been like, okay, I have to remember. I was in the bathroom before during the Is break. Is that why you're telling like, me to write it down? Because you should have written it down. No, just because. Oh, you you don't want me to forget. Sometimes. Rude. It's true. <laughs> the tr- yeah, I was like, the tr- <laughs> truth can't be rude. Also, this beer tastes like a vegetable, and I hate it. Well, you want a what vegetable? I'll drink it. I I don't know. I want oh, to let know me, what let vegetable. Me, let me try that sucker. Nope, not Tristan's trying it. It's a green vegetable, but I can't think of which one. Oh, but she doesn't like. That. Of course not. It's an IPA. <laughs> Do you taste any vegetable in this? Oh my goodness, this is the worst thing I've ever tasted. Are you a toddler? What's happening? I'm so sorry, were you still talking? I believe I nodded off a bit. Ew. <laughs> the aftertaste. That is so nasty. That's so gross, babe. I don't. I don't hate it, but it it tastes like a vegetable, and I don't know what it is. This is a really long lull, and I'm so sorry, guest. Just stay. I know with what you us. mean? I can't. I can't think of it. Yeah. Oh, that is nasty. I'll, maybe at some maybe point, as I finish this beer, I'll maybe get like to it. Squash. Yeah. That's, yeah. I. But it feels more green. Zucchini. Like, like a cucumber, like, maybe. Yeah. Zucchini? Like a, yeah, not cucumber, no. Or cucumber. I guess I don't know the difference between zucchini and cu- cucumber because I don't eat. Zucchini is a squash. I, I mean, I don't eat either of them. I bet. So. I bet it's a zucchini. That's what I'm. That's not mean. a cucumber. No. I'll tell you that much. Well, because I'm thinking yeah. like a butternut squash or like a or like a zucchini. Okay. Yeah. Well, now that you got through the beer review of today, yeah, we'll Nasty. keep talking about uh, <laughs> zero out of five. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be that would be your rating on every beer ever. Not Except sours. for ciders or s- sours, oh, yeah. I like sours, which are pseudo beers. They're not. I don't know if they're. Th- they're, are and are not beers. I like Some reds. people fight over that. Is red a beer? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Back to Bullet Train. <laughs> uh, and, uh, fruits and vegetables. Tangerine and lemon were really good in this. Yes. Um, mm-hmm. The whole. Uh, uh, train bit, uh, Thomas the Thomas, Thomas yeah. the Tank Engine. I think was it was a little hard to get on board at first, mm-hmm. yeah. but I think it landed the, m- the, which is the very opposite of what usually happens with bits. Yeah, usually they're funny at the start, and the more you do it, the, the less funny it gets. The less funny it gets. Yeah. But with this, it was like, yeah, sure, it's supposed to be kind of a funny bit, but it creates a seriousness between yeah. the two. Yeah. Well, and like it. It becomes like a seriousness yeah. between the two, mm-hmm. the brothers. It's it's sentimental. It also is wild as fuck that he cared so much about Thomas the Tank Engine. But I yeah. guess that's kind of the bit. So. Oh man, I I was I am glad that between the two of them, Lemon is the one that survived. Uh, 
especially after the uh, the scene with her kids and uh, Le- uh, Tangerine's laying back on the couch and then uh, Lemon is so exciting. He's got his toy yeah. train and he's watching the TV and like, look at, look at the Tom. And like, oh. Yeah. After I saw that, I was like, man. Uh, but let's be honest. We all knew that Lemon wasn't dead. I wasn't sure because she weighs I like, thought he was. Uh, well, because. Really? Oh, mm-hmm. okay. I, th- I guess I was the only one. Yeah, I, 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 I for sure thought the other guy was dead. Oh yeah, he got shot in the neck. Yeah. yeah. Oh no, not not Tangerina. The oh. other guy in the bathroom. Oh yeah. no, I the father. Yeah. I thought he was. I think, yeah. He just got shot in the stomach. I believed what yeah. they were telling me. <laughs> yeah. Well, okay, so they had they had already like set it up that he was gonna like gonna get shot in the chest because they talked about the bulletproof vest earlier in the movie and he was like no nah, i don't wear that shit because oh i don't then remember they're just that they're gonna shoot me in the face yeah and i was like okay this is foreshadowing that he's gonna get shot in the chest and he was actually wearing yeah a bulletproof vest because his brother keeps on telling him to wear a bulletproof vest mm-hmm. and then sure enough and then when the, she's shooting him it looks like chest shots yeah and that's what i thought and the only thing that kind of deterred me is like they definitely like showed a lot more blood on his face Mm -hmm. when they were doing the close-up between the two brothers. And it almost made it look like there was a bullet hole in his face. Yes, yeah. And I thought that was a little deceptive. Especially when he gets to the bathroom. Yeah, Yeah. that's what I'm talking about. When uh, Tangerine is like holding Lemon Mm -hmm. and like crying, it looked like there was a bullet hole in his head. And I was like, I thought that was a little, like, I still thought like... It's a little cheatery. (laughs) Yes. And I was was still like, I think he's alive, but... But I was like, well, actually, that does kind of look like a bullet hole. But I wasn't for sure yeah. that it, that's what it was. Because he also got the, he got beat the fuck up like three times in this movie. So I was like. People get beat up a lot yeah. in this movie. Brad Pitt actually not a whole hell of a lot. So well, he's I guess tra- I stepped he, on court. He's just trying to spread peace and love, you know. That's yeah. what you put out and that's what you get back. Yeah. I thought the uh, um, luck bit yeah. got a little much. Yeah, I I thought it was fine, but then I really liked it when he's talking with the elder, and he's like, "Well, ladybugs aren't lucky; they hold the bad luck for everybody else." I was like, "Okay, that's that's a cool little spin." I wish we had gotten a little earlier, a little yeah. bit earlier, but and yeah. his uh, response, I don't remember. Uh, what well, shitty or something? Oh, like that. Yeah, something. Yeah, he's more witty than I am, I guess. But. <laughs> Yeah, I kind of. I dug. just felt like it. Dra- like it was like between his bad luck and her like good luck. That's what was I making me the like, most angry. Yeah, yeah. I a hundred and ten percent was hoping. I didn't think, but I was hoping the snake was going to get her. I thought she was going to be like. I thought she was, was going to be like I. I did it. I'm the winner and I'm the best out of everybody. And then it sneaks out and bites her on the ankle or something. But I was pleasantly surprised. I thought that was funny the way they pulled it off that he gets bit and he's like, "What's a snake doing on here?" And I guess he had said earlier, but. Well, yeah, and, and, then and he was uh, like, "Well, I guess I already had the antidote." Yeah, yeah you but. believe it or not, crazy coincidence. I've already been <laughs> been yeah. done with it. I've already been stopped with the antidote. I really liked. I forgot to say. This is what I was going to say that I forgot to say earlier. Um, I really enjoyed hearing the audience enjoy the movie. Oh, yeah, sure. they were they were cracking up a little yeah. bit. Yeah, nothing like it was. Uh, ju- it was genuine. Like it was belly like belly laughs or anything. No, like no. Yeah. it was definitely like. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Well, maybe a little bit more than that, but still. Like, yeah, it was like few people here and there. Every funny thing. I'm well, like, like not yeah. everybody's laughing at the same thing. And it's exactly. also like yeah. it's not like uh, the Marvel humor stuff mm-hmm. where like a stupid joke happens and like everybody just bellow yeah. laughs because they all have an IQ under thirty seven. So like. Yeah, it felt more genuine because like, okay, this is like, sure, not all, all of it's gonna land with every like everyone, but that's mm-hmm. also like realistic and fine. Yeah, I got there early and I was eating my dinner pizza, and oh, delicious. Ah, uh, okay. AMC, you need the to get us as a sponsor. Next we'll, to me, <laughs> we'll promote this. There were a bunch stuff. of scary movie previews before that, before the movie, which is when a preview is shown. I can't wait for Smile. And. The guy next to me, every time something creepy happened on the preview, he would go, nope, nope, <laughs> nope, 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 <laughs> every single time. You and the first time I was like, ha, huh, that's funny. You should have told him like, to watch Nope. Yeah, I was should. like, have you seen the movie Nope? I didn't say that, but I thought about it. You should have. No, he got really annoying real quick. <laughs> he kept every, because there were like three or four yeah. scary movie trailers so? and he kept doing it. Oh, I'm I like, guess October's Bruh. coming up soon. And so then... Apparently September's the month for horror, which just doesn't make any sense. Yeah. 
I guess it's like gearing you up for October, yeah. maybe. It's weird. You guys, yeah. you're going to like where this is going. Okay? So like nobody was really paying attention, and this guy was just, nope, shutting down everything. Yeah. Every preview. And then that, oh, wait, no. It was uh, Wakanda Forever trailer. N- no, was it Wakanda Forever? No, it was Wakanda we- Forever. Because... Um, everybody started paying attention when that trailer came on, and I was like, "This looks like a Marvel movie." Because everybody's like, "What are they going to do about Chadwick Boseman?" Yeah. No, it's just because it's Marvel, Marvel. and it's. That's fair. I just thought it was Black interesting. Panther, I was like, I was "Nobody's the greatest Marvel movie ever." Mm. Nobody's really paying attention, but then a Marvel movie comes on, literally everyone is like, "Oh, it's the it's and then I said Wakanda Forever, and I'm like, "That tracks." Yeah. It really sucks when everybody hypes up a movie that shouldn't be considered the greatest of all time because it's like, because uh, it's like Black Panther is a really solid movie. Yeah, it's it's really good in the MCU. It's a really good standalone movie mm-hmm. outside of the MCU, but everyone considers it like not everyone, but a somehow large percent of the population say that's the greatest Marvel movie and not even greatest Marvel movie, greatest superhero movie of all time. Which is nope. just like putting That's that like saying The Lion King is the best animated movie of all time. The Lion King is the best animated movie of all time. It's all right. I'm You're allowed kidding. to have wrong opinions. I'm just kidding. That was a joke. <laughs> Dang. Uh, <laughs> what is the greatest animated movie of all time then, Tristan? Mulan. Mm. Just mm. kidding. I haven't really thought about it. No. Mulan's not a bad answer, though. I, l- a, I love Mulan. I know. Mulan's a solid answer. Let's get down to business. To defeat the Huns. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, that like that's what suck. Like when people overhype something that shouldn't be, it just kind of stinks. When somebody says it's like, yeah. maybe put it in top ten, but every like literally lists come out and it's like number one, number one, number one, number one. Yeah. It's like okay, come on, dude. Well, and everyone's got a, a totally different MCU top ten list. Yeah. Yeah. I'll take it back. I'm, I bet everybody's probably has at least Infinity War, Endgame, or both in their top 10. But yeah. yeah. I'm really nervous slash excited to do a review with The Woman King. Oh, yeah. That'll be interesting. It Every looks good, though. Every single time it comes on, Easton has to say something about it. I want to yell to the whole theater. I that know. All of you this almost is did. Fake and not real. He was like, he leaned <coughs> over to whisper to me, and he was like, I just want to tell everyone that she. She she's she sold w- her slaves or whatever. She yeah. sold her people into slaves, not defended them. So mm. it's a very weird thing to uh, put out as a, a historically accurate film when you're promoting this idea that's the exact opposite of the reality. Yeah. So and I understand there's a lot of movies throughout history that white people have had, like The Patriot and The, the and Braveheart Showman. and yeah. The Greatest Showman. And uh, like that stuff that like over exemplifies the what men did to mm. fight for their country or whatever. Yeah. But an exact like one like one eighty like we're gonna promote them as they did this, and, but in reality they did the exact opposite. Right now she did have a woman army and she was the queen. I don't know why it's called the woman king, but she was the queen and she had a woman army and she did fight the French and I think she won a battle or two, but then like. She lost, and she also, like, throughout her career was selling her own people into slavery. So it's kind mm. of weird to throw that narrative as a... And a lot of people don't research anything. They just watch the movie, and they'll yeah. take that as, like, that's their history lesson. Yeah. Which sometimes is good, and sometimes is very bad. Yeah. Well, and that's... Man, I'm, that's a... T- no, that, that's sorry. If I go down the rabbit hole, we'll... we'll to go on tangent yeah yeah, yeah. and i kind of <laughs> went on a tangent there but we talked about trailers for a little bit before this movie and and that was one of them and it's getting a lot of hype and i'm just like i just really people read what the real history is there and mm-hmm. don't let um like there are, are probably thousands if not millions of great black stories to be told yeah. and you twist one that's not real and like we also have this like fixation to uh, demonize white people who own slaves, mm. and, which is like understandable. Uh, but why are we now trying to glorify someone that sold slaves? So it's just kind of like it's kind of like weird for this time yeah. period. And anyways, sorry, 
<laughs> weird tangent. And we're going to watch that movie, and we're going to review it, and we'll have all the tangents. And I'm going to do a lot of research to make sure that I'm not misinforming everyone. Um, I've already done some research, and everything has kind of told me that, but I want to do more than just yeah. Google searches and yeah, yeah, and Twitter threads and stuff like that <laughs> and actually uh, read some stuff to make sure all that's accurate. Um, but bullet train out. Uh, do you guys have anything else more? We really haven't talked too much. Uh, we've been going I mean, all over the place I mean, for the so spoiler. It's very action heavy. And I think the action is good for the most part. I think it's funny. It, it's witty. So you said the, uh, yeah, you said the plot was thin. Oh yeah. So you can elaborate on that. And I think I have some stuff as well to throw in there. Yeah. I think just like, so the whole, the whole thing is the white wolf has bought the train ticket of everybody on the, on the train because all of these people you mean the white death uh, what what i say the white wolf yeah the white death um the, the wolf is the uh, the wolf is the other guy you're right yeah. yeah um yeah he's bought all the tickets for everybody on the train um including all these people that he is that have like wronged him or been involved with his life in some way shape or form and because of that like it's it's just very i'm trying to think of how to put it into words uh, it's a lot of coincidences and it's a lot of like, this is, we just have to take this for what it is and just assume that they know because, because like, uh, we have to have all of, on, all of them on the train. I'm sorry. I don't know why my brain is malfunctioning. <laughs> Is it the squash beer? No, yeah, right. It's. It, it, I think that's the reason I said is because we have to have. T- it's a mixture of both, in movie content and then like real life stuff. This we have to have this runtime, and we have to make sure that all of these A list actors get enough screen time for it to make sense for them to be on the train Maybe, and for that yeah. to happen. So because of that, it was just a little confusing to keep up with like how all these people are intertwined with each other, and really the for a long time. You think it's the Hornet, and the Hornet is the one that's doing all the pulling yeah. all the strings, whenever. And then you find her, and then they kill her almost instantaneously. Yes. And yes. then you're like, "Oh, well, then." I thought that. Who was, is it? Well, I, I, turns I, out it's this other guy who's who who wronged this Asian family over here, and now they need revenge. But then this person also has is his daughter, who also hates him for some reason, and she's gonna try to kill him, but she's not really gonna kill him because he because blah blah blah. And yeah, yeah. I do think uh, I don't necessarily hate. Uh, the not showing of the hands and having the white death like have this thought out plan that's killing all of the people. I did think it was a little lackluster to think. I just figured you guys would all kill each other. Mm, um, yeah. But I don't think like him having this idea to put everyone together and just like murder as many as possible um, and wanting them all dead was bad. Um, and I don't think... The weakest story, I think, was the the kid, the girl, the daughter of mm. the you prince. Never, yeah, <laughs> yeah. You never paid attention to me. You only yeah, cared about the other one. Yeah, that's what I was saying. She's a spoiled little brat. Yeah. yeah. Now I did like uh, the way she went about what she did. No. With the gun, I thought that was that was cool. And the and the bomb in the suitcase, I thought those were cool. Now I don't necessarily like the oh, just open it. Yeah. That was, that was a little dumb. Yeah, that's where I thought that there were just bad continuity. I don't know if it's continuity errors or just like mm-hmm. stuff like. Um, yeah. It's yeah. a lot of assuming like, like. Yeah. And him like not being able to get off the train every single time mm-hmm. I think was a bad bit. Yeah. Like there were good bits. The bad bit was him not being able to get off the train. Um, I feel like there could have been a better way than first you have the wolf literally being in the exact same spot that he was exiting. Which right. I guess maybe yeah. that's the bad luck or whatever. Yeah. But then there was always like, there's just always something. And you can only do that like once, in my opinion. Mm. We're like, oh, okay, we've, we've fought through hell to get out. We're about to get out. Boom. Bad luck. Yeah. You can't do bad luck, bad luck, bad luck. And then another bad Like, it's just, mm-hmm. it's a little much. Because it's just like, okay, well, we're just writing a film where like, we're making these things happen so that he stays on here. Yeah. And it do, it shouldn't... F- I understand that's what you're... Like well, you, and there's like a That's moment. what you have to do as a movie maker, yeah. but you have to make it feel as natural as possible. Yeah. And it didn't. No. And like, there's even a moment where he doesn't he push Tangerine off the train? Which was great, yeah. He, yeah. I guessed it. Which, yeah, which was fine, but I was like... Why, why didn't, didn't you get why off? Why didn't you get off the train? Yeah. yeah. Tackle him off? Yeah. yeah. Um. Which I guess maybe he was like, I want to push him off here and then I'll get off at the next stop so I'm not stuck with this 
maniac. Yeah, maybe. This British maniac. I thought he was good. Yeah, I did too. Tangerine was good. Yeah, him mm-hmm. and Lemon both. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we've said that a lot. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, th- I think they, I think they kind of stole the show. I think Brad Pitt was good. No, I but I, think I they totally agree. Stole I think the show. I think Brad Pitt was amazing, and I think he was obviously the focus of the movie. But I think Tangerine and Lemon, at like I don't know they, they held outsh- their own. I don't know if yeah. they outshined Brad Pitt because mm-hmm. Brad Pitt is Who just a charismatic like yeah. god. Not but even Leonardo DiCaprio. True. They complemented each other. Mm-hmm. What are you talking about? Once upon a time, time in Hollywood. Oh right, yes. Yep. The uh, Rick Dalton. Of course, the great Rick Dalton. Yes. Of course, of course. The uh, s- where did he go and make movies? France. The French. Spaghetti Amid- Western. Okay, I'm all done. Actor. <laughs> yeah. Um, why do they call it that? Yeah. Spaghetti Western. Mm. Uh, there is because a pasta. Re- no. <laughs> There is a reason, but I don't you remember. You said that so aggressively. <laughs> because pasta! pasta. <laughs> That's Italy, anyways. I love pasta. Not France. I also love pasta. They're close, aren't I think they? I'm gonna make pasta yes, they're tonight. close. Yeah. It's um, fine. The French are known for surrendering, not making pasta. They've surrendered every war they've ever been in. Okay. Is that shade that you just threw? Mm-hmm. Did I see the dark shade? Oh, hang on, hang on. <laughs> Hang on. Is it from pasta? Spaghetti westerns, also called Italian westerns or westerns all Italiana, are a subgenre of western films. The term spaghetti western was coined by Spanish journalist Alfonso Sanchez to describe the low budget films made in being made in Italy so it during Italy, the 1960s and the 1970s. So he went to Italy? But we were talking about pasta and that's Yeah. That's but Italy. I I thought he went to France. He uh, went he went to Italy. That's gotcha. so that's my bad. So you spaghetti. Were right. Now I, oh, because maybe pasta's cheap. Pasta's cheap. Ah, uh, yes. Western's it's made cheap. Low budget. Yep. There yeah. we go. Learn something new every day. Yep. We're the movie morons because, well, I'm the <laughs> movie moron because I don't know anything. I just talk. And we're just the friends. I'm an accomplice. A moron accomplice. You're an accomplice. You're, 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 an an accompl- an a- you're a moron enabler. <laughs> <laughs> That's very true for both of you. <laughs> um, okay, anything else you guys want to say about Bullet Train? I don't know how much we've actually talked about Bullet Train. Look, Go see it. It's fun. It well, is gruesome. It's tasteful. It has Brad Boy. <laughs> and what else do you need than Brad Boy in an action movie? And then, get, and then you get and then you get that was tangerine. my review on Letterbox, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> and then yep. you get tangerine and lemon to just compliment yeah. and make it even beautiful. Better. Yeah. So I was Brad Boy is the I main was happy course. that lemon survives. And you have I wasn't sure. I thought they were gonna just let it. it. Well, no, I thought they were gonna leave it uh, open ended. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, just in case they wanted to go back and use them or something. I wish they. I both could see survived, this getting a sequel. But do it. I wish they both survived. But I'm glad. Uh, yeah, I did too. Because I um, just liked the. First of all, I like the brother aspect, and yeah. I and I liked him as You're an actor. You're a sucker for character. brother aspects, though. Yeah, yeah. You got what? Have you seen Triple R yet? No. Oh, you gotta watch it. I will. We huh? maybe we will on our vacation. Do it. Watch it in Maine. It's just a three and a half hour movie. Triple R. Oh my goodness! <laughs> I was surprised it took you that long to get Trevor. <laughs> I thought she said "gur." No. Oh. Would be okay. Wouldn't it be R. What's her face from Ted Lasso? What? Um, Married to Roy? Yeah. That's what you you sound like her. (laughs) Because she was a lion in the photo shoot. Oh, yes. There was a... I did enjoy the uneasy alliance toward the end with the three of them. And there was one line in this that I think I found funnier than I should have. It's when uh, Lemon says, even though I lost a brother, I feel like I've gained another. And Brad Pitt's like, Really? No. no. <laughs> yeah, that was that <laughs> was good. He jumps out that, was, the door. that was a good bait and switch. Yeah, it was. Now, I don't know why he jumped out the door though. To tackle the guy. Yeah, yeah. I know, but yeah. he could have kicked him out or something. Pushed him out. Yeah, I think he. I th- well, he, he gets shot he right died. before that. His brother just died. He didn't care. If he he gets shot in the stomach, and so he and he's bleeding. And so I thought when he did that, I was like, oh, he's like he knows he's gonna get got anyway. So maybe. Yeah. When you don't care about if you die or not, you do a lot of crazy stuff. I'm glad that he's the one that got to wipe out the daughter, though. She's yeah. the worst. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. She was rough. Well, okay. okay you guys ready for uh, ratings? I'm ready. Uh-huh. Sure. Okay. 
Trevor, what you got? Three. Okay. Tristan, what you got? Can you go first? Me? No. Yeah. That never happens. But I don't know. What about hands- well, should we let Handsome Squidward go? Yeah. He's ready. It was rated R. <laughs> yes, it was Handsome Squidward. Good oh. job. That's a very good <laughs> He's always got good takes. I don't even know if it was rated it. R. I think oh, it, I'm yeah, sure it, it had was. to be. Yeah. They said the F word a lot of times. Oh, did they? Oh, yeah. I don't pay attention to that anymore. I know you don't. Okay, well, there you go. You got uh, three star. You got R. Wait. And uh, what do you got? Like, like a th- I'm going like to judge you very hard if it's not a perfect rating. Somewhere of a three, but not a four. Not for sure not a four. Somewhere of a three? What yeah. is it? You gotta it means like probably like three or like three and a half maybe. You got to solidify, man. <laughs> you don't sometimes. Yeah, I do. No. You say three, three and a half. And then I say, but probably this. But probably 325. <laughs> there you go. You solidified 325. 330. I 330. don't know. 330. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. I don't know. Um, I mean, I'm also between a three and a three and a half, but I think three is a good spot. I guess, uh, th- Three for me is like fun, enjoyed, yeah, nothing great, fine. but I liked it. I um, even uh, for me, even a two and a half is something I like. Two and a half for me is something I like, but I mm. know is not a good movie, mm. but I still like it. Yeah. And then two is like, okay, this isn't very good, and I don't really like it. So like, a three is like, yeah, it's it's pretty good. I had fun, and it's nothing crazy, but it's st- still a fine, likable movie. Yeah. And I think that's exactly what this is. It's nothing crazy, but it's I uh, didn't hate my time. I enjoyed it. Yeah. Um, we watched this on a Thursday night after I had a twelve hour shift and. <laughs> Was fine. I think I think the reason this is a three for me is because it, it's they did take some risks. Like some of the lines are not great and they don't totally land. Some of the action doesn't totally land, but they took the risk and like because of that, I think it makes it better. Sure, they've that you know the story was a little ambitious and then but they did it and you know, I had fun with it. Yeah, that's fair. They weren't playing anything safe. Right. Yeah. Yeah. They just did what they wanted to and hope you guys like it. Yeah. Okay. Um, that's it for today's episode. Next week we are going to be doing um random movie. I think it's uh I think it's like fall. I it's not a great lineup. I won't be doing any movie. No, that's true. Um yeah, because to <laughs> You gotta say something there, Tristan. Bullet train. Yeah. <laughs> I think we're gonna be doing Fall, which is a weird horror movie on Hulu, but I don't think it's a I don't know. Well, Tristan and I will review it just so you guys have some content, something to listen to. Um, and, uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for listening. Uh, make sure to rate and review, like I said earlier. And you can follow us on YouTube if you want to watch us. At some point, we'll have better lighting so you can see all of our faces. Uh, we tried to put a little lighting in here, but it's not very great. At some point, we'll actually get some uh, nice bright lights to burn us while we're uh, talking about these movies. So. Bodies, bodies, bodies are supposed to come out today, but there's no showings at the AMC. Of yeah. course there's not. It's probably only showing at... Uh, Warren. Warren. <laughs> I'm tempted to do Warren Unlimited, but then we go there and it, the seats suck and the theater sucks. And the cause we watch I don't like s- how bright it is in there, first of all. Yeah. But, and don't I don't like the chairs in not recline, yeah. but they do in Warren 21. Yeah. So, but I think you have to pay more for that. You do, yeah. Like on the unlimited. More. Oh, I don't know about the unlimited. Yeah, I think I'm they upcharge. I think like, doesn't matter. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll uh, we'll review something and put it out next week. Thank you guys so much for listening and have a good. One. Hey, morons! You talking to me? You talking to me? There seems to be no sign of intelligent life anywhere. Hello? Stop! (laughs) (laughs) What an idiot! What do you expect? I'm the movie moron. What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. Don't call me stupid. Oh, 
right to call you stupid would be an insult to stupid people. I've known sheep that could outwit you. Yeah, well, you know, that's just like uh, your opinion, man. Man, you are one pathetic loser. <laughs> no offense. <laughs> no, none taken.